Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea, it's nice to have you guys here. Today I have a kind of mini DSW shoe haul. I've ordered two pairs of pink shoes and two pairs of black shoes. I'm only intending to keep one of each colorway, and I think three of them are all by guess. I've got four, sho four shoes total. So I thought I would open these up, show you the shoes that I ordered. They are four pairs of kind of cute or dressy or trendy trainers, whatever your terminology for them is. I usually call them trendy trainers. Um, I like the alliteration, I guess. <laughs> but these are tennis shoes or sneakers, trainers, whatever you call them, that are just a little bit dressy and I wouldn't wear them to the gym, but I would wear them to work with a nice top and like my slacks or something. So let's open up the big box first and then I can show you the free gift and then we'll get into the shoes. So I won't lie, the free gift is pretty much the thing that inspired the shoe haul. I had kind of told myself I wasn't going to order myself any shoes, but I knew I did want a pair of black trainers. I do have a few pair of pink, I won't lie. <laughs> and I have a really lovely pair of burgundy velvet that I wear a lot in the winter. Um, they're by Puma. I love them. But they don't always go with everything and there have been a few times where I've thought, oh, a pair of black would be really nice. So when I saw the free gift pop up, I thought, okay, well maybe I will get a pair of black shoes. And of course then I found some pink shoes and blah, 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 blah. Um, so the free gift is an organizer set. It's a three piece set. And um, if you watched my home goods organization haul, you'll know that I am kind of going on a bit of an early spring cleaning kick. Although I think I'm going to use these primarily in my closet, which is my summer project. Um, so the bags are like a wire frame at the top, um, but then they completely collapse, which is really nice. So they advertise this for car, home, or closet. So I'm gonna use it for the closet. So it pops out, so you've got the bottom. Um, I wish it was a little bit sturdier in the bottom because I feel like it's not going to necessarily stay up, but I might be able to fix something. And then they've got handles, which is really nice. So we've got two of these smaller ones, like these, and then we've got, I'm gonna fold these back up because I won't be using them just yet. Um, and then we've got a larger one. Um, so I think the fact that they collapse down so flat um, does make them really great for the car, organizing your car. Um, I think that's a really nice size and it's got side handles here. This actually would probably work really well as a laundry basket, not gonna lie. Um, so that might be how I use it in the meantime until I can finally organize my closet. So I will probably use all three of these for non-closet organization and just cleaning purposes, you know, filling this up with stuff that's out here that needs to go into my bathroom or something. Seriously, every single time I sit down to film, landscaper people start making noise outside. It's like, I'm cursed. We're gonna power through. I hope you can't hear that too badly. I do have most of my windows shut at the moment because it's been getting pretty chilly at night. Um, so yeah, thought the free gift was really nice. Definitely something I can use. Um, but you did have to spend $49.99. So obviously that <laughs> meant I had to buy some shoes. So the first pair that I found was by Aldo. I could have stopped here, but then I just kept looking. Cause you know, if I had to return this pair, I didn't, oh, but they're so cute. I've just, I've just lifted up the, t the tissue and now I can see them. Okay, so what I liked about these is they look like they've got the comfort of like a proper workout shoe, but they are completely covered in little teeny tiny crystals. To be honest, I'm kind of feeling the cushioning on the inside. I'm not sure how cushy these are going to be. I do have another pair of um, designer trainers from Aldo, and they're comfortable, but like not as comfortable as my Pumas or my Adidas. But these are super cute. My only concern is they, they lace to tighten, but they don't loosen. So they're just kind of like that all-in-one just gotta, gotta stretch to get your foot in there. So these could be difficult to get my feet into. They are super cute, super blingy. So I think those are really, 
For looks, they are definitely winning me over. I absolutely love the look of them. I'm just concerned about how they are going to fit. I will keep you posted on which ones I end up keeping, um, but feel free to vote for your favorites in the comments below. <laughs> then we've got the guest ones. Actually, I'm not sure that's even landscapers out there. I, that sounds like something else, like a carpet cleaner or something. That's really annoying me. I really hope I don't have to refilm this video. So, the first pair of G by Guests are these quilted black trainers. So, they've got the quilting detail along the side. They've got the kind of gold plaque with the brand logo. They've got another gold bar thing across the laces. The toe of the shoe is not quilted, it's just a plain leather. I'm not sure if it's real leather or not. Man-made upper leather and then leather sole. I love the quilting detail. I thought these were really cute. I would obviously prefer it to be rose gold because that's the majority of what I have, but with shoes I'm a little less picky. Like if I'm wearing rose gold jewelry and my shoes have gold on them, I don't really worry about that. So I did think these were really cute. I like the quilting detail. I thought these would stay clean pretty easily because they're not a suede. So yeah, really liked those. They do feel like they've got a bit of cushion in them. So that would be nice. Then the other pair of G by Guess are the other black pair, which you'll see are very similar but they're silver, so they've got the silver detailing, no quilting, and then they've got this kind of glitter effect on the toe. So I thought those were super cute. <laughs> you know me, I love my sparkle, but I thought it was fa fairly subtle. Um, it's not, you know, glitter all around, it's just on the toe and it just adds a little bit of texture. Out in the sunlight, I'm sure they'll glitter and sparkle a little bit more, but in daylight, they are actually pretty subtle. So oh, I just realized the glitter goes all the way up the tongue of the shoe. So that's kind of cool. It kind of peeks through the laces. And then the last pair of shoes. Oh, oh, it's rose gold. Okay, I wasn't sure, I couldn't tell in the picture. Um, so these ones are similar to the black pair in that you've got the side, but these are a suede, then the um, brand logo is rose gold, and then it's got rose gold glitter. So I'm torn between, I, th I think I'm liking these ones as far as the pink pair goes more than the Aldo, and these were cheaper, the Aldo ones. Yeah, the Aldo ones were $69.99, and these ones were $39.99. So it's a $30 price difference. For the two black pairs, one of them was $29.98, and the other was $39.99. So the quilted ones were $40, the non-quilted ones were $30. So it is a significant price difference. I still think I'm leaning towards the quilted ones, I'm not gonna lie, um, as far as the black goes. And then these ones, they're kind of a suede, but I think they're a faux suede. Yeah, textile slash man-made upper. It doesn't feel like real suede to me. I, I definitely, I, I need to check the fit, but I do think I like these ones better than the Aldo ones, even though I love the crystals on the Aldo ones. I think these I would probably wear a little bit more and would look good with how I would envision styling them. I feel like the other, the Aldo ones are almost a little too athletic in their style with the way the sole is, whereas these do just seem a little less athletic and more just that like athleisure look, which I think I can style, dress it up a little bit more for work. Um, so I will try all of these on, but so far I definitely think I'm liking these ones. I will include some kind of annotation or insert on how these fit. As far as the black ones go, I think I do want your help with that. Uh, I will probably still make the ultimate decision, but let me know what you guys think. Let me get them out again. If you like the plain black with the glitter, since I'm thinking of keeping the pink ones, 
I'm feeling like I don't need two glitter topped black ones. And I do, I do like the quilted, even though I'm not sure about the gold. So what do you think? Silver and glitter or quilted and gold? Let me know your opinion below. And they are still making noise out there. Why, like, <sighs> I'm getting ready all morning long and it's been completely quiet out here. And then literally, as soon as I press record, they start making noise. Anyway, um, I think the free gift might still be going on if you shop at DSW. Um, they do sometimes run out pretty quickly, but I think I'm still getting emails about them. Um, so if you are interested in the organizer set, um, I would go onto DSW's website and look that up. Um, and I believe all of the shoes I have shown had fairly decent stock left. So if you are interested in any of these pairs on your own, then again, head over to DSW. So yeah, I'm going to put some socks on because I'm currently barefooted. Um, so I'm gonna get some socks on. I might, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to wear one of these pairs to work today. So let me go start trying some shoes on. Hopefully one of these works. <laughs> Um, if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. I would really appreciate that. Let me know your thoughts on the shoes or tell me about a new pair of shoes that you have recently got in the comments. I love to hear about your shoe purchases um, or any other DSW finds that you have found recently if you are, like me, a DSW shopper. And I will see you all soon in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye-bye.